right. Hopefully we're back. Uh, I lowered the bit rate to 1500, and I have no idea if that is going to do anything for anyone. Uh, please let me know. Give me some feedback once this goes live. Looks like it's still coming on. It is uh, something happening. I have no idea. So far, no glitches. Everyone's saying it's better. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watch out. Are we in business? Tell me we're in business, people. Yes! Yes! Thank god! Alright, excellent! Ah, hitbox is worth the effort. I swear it to everyone. Excellent. So, looks like that's, uh, that's good. It's going smooth. <laughs> Business accomplished! <laughs> nice. Wonderful. Well, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback, um, so maybe I'll keep it at that. I've had previous streams. They've all functioned at 2,000. I have no idea. So weird. Ah, uh, okay. Great. All right, so uh, let's jump right back into this madness, I guess, and let's see what's going on here. Um, so, again, VR file browser. I got place in front of the utilities. Uh, scroll wheel, I have no idea what to do with. So let's go. Uh, fantastic. Let's play. F12 to capture. And... There we go. All right, so we're back. And I uh, have some music playing in the background this time. The mouse out of the way. So I'm looking at things. And I can see here, left mouse, UI select, open file, right mouse, open video file in SBS mode, shift scroll, scale array. So... What? <laughs> ah. Ah. Circle, sphere, gravity. All right, I need some help here, people. I'm pressing everything. I'm pressing everything, and I'm, uh, I'm not getting it. <laughs> Give me, give me some help. Jesus. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. So is this like a, a Unix interface I'm not familiar with? I have no idea. I'm scrolling, I, I've pressed the middle button, I've pressed the left, right, I'm not getting anything to happen. So I, I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Man, I, I cannot call it. I cannot call it. I have no idea. Alright, so we might have to come back to this once I get some clarification. Like, it's saying, uh, you know, move. Um, and it's saying to scroll to move the array vertically, but I've, I've been scrolling the whole time in all kinds of locations, and I haven't gotten anything to happen. Um, it says left mouse for UI and right mouse to open the file, uh, but pressing those buttons, I've got nothing so far. Um, so I'm not sure what exactly to do with this, and I'm not getting any help from the chat right now. Uh, I've scrolled it below the floor, so there's an interface that I can scroll below the floor. Is it the is it that interface over there? Glow, you're the dev of this, right? Ah. Okay, so do I go out to here? Whoop. Weird. I 
I'm not sure. I have to go deeper. How much farther? What am I doing? There is some text at the bottom of this. Let's see here. I can't read it. There's text at the bottom, but I can't. This is properly illegible. Excellent. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> so I've got scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down. Um, it, this is probably due to my own incompetence, guys, but I'm not able to get this to work. I apologize. I have no idea what uh, where to go from here. Yeah, like I've clicked, I've rolled, I scrolled, and while it's glowing, Jesus, what just happened? My life. Am I still even streaming right now? My whole computer just took a crap. Holy crap. Okay, wait a minute. No idea. No idea. <laughs> Something else totally different happened there. All right, excellent. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm thoroughly miffed by this program. Uh, I have to visit it again. I have to talk to the dev and and see uh, and get some get some direction on this. Uh, yeah. I really should turn off all of those porn turrets. That is really that's probably the issue. It's probably causing all of my problems. All uh, right. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So, <laughs> VR for all browser. It looks very cool. It has a very cool environment, but I'm not able to get it to work at this time. We are going to revisit that. That is going to be something that will be in the future. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to that one. All right. In the meantime, let's go on to the next demo, which is Ha Chu. Kara. All right. Hachukara is basically some weird, I don't know, simulator of zombie cuteness? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, so we're going to, uh, we're going to find out what this is. Uh, so it's on bowl roll. For those of you that are curious about Japanese Oculus Rift experiences, this is one of the main places to get them. Uh, right here in Japanese, it says tag, or tag. And if you type in here, um, like uh, Oculus or Oculus Rift or uh, Oculus Space Rift, like so, Oculus. Uh, and then you'll get a variety of titles um, that are compatible with the Oculus Rift. And most of them are involving Hatsune Miku of some type or way or fashion uh, so there you go so the basic premise of this is that there's a bunch of cute Hachimikus that are um, uh, Hatsune Mikus that are trying to uh, to um, eat you I believe so uh, excellent let's dive right in <laughs> let's go uh, so we have 1280 by 800 fantastic we're gonna switch over to game mode check it to check check and we're going to play this experience uh, we're going to start this capture, and we're going to make this happen. Uh, so here it goes. So this is what we have. I think it uses a controller. Hopefully it does. Yes, it looks like it does. I have a power glove stuck to my face, along with a weird-looking rock. I have no idea what that is. Uh, walk speed is pretty fast. I'm clearly in the Tuscany demo. Um, Sans house. There is no house here. There is just some barrels and land. And, uh, okay. And I can press the A button. And uh, the A button is allowing me to shoot things. Okay. Evidently, I'm, I'm poisoning them with meat. Uh, so, kind of a cute concept, very random. Am I giving them, like, poison beef jerky? Japan! 
Tell me more! I have no idea. This is... Strange, to say the least. Um... It's kind of like, uh... What is this genre of game? It's not exactly tower defense, is it? Well, I guess it could be if there was a tower in the middle. I guess it could. Um... So it's kind of a survival mode. Um, I assume that they come faster and quicker with time, but I'm already starting to get a little queasy just because of the amount of spinning I have to do. Um, Uh-oh. And it looks like the physics actually... Get down! Eat it. Catch it! All right. Um... Straightforward. Uh, so, uh, I think I've had quite enough of this experience. So we're just gonna let them what happens when she... Oh, sh shit! Congratulations! Con con congratulations. Congratul congratulations? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, too close, man. You're too close! Alright, um... Congratulations. Okay, <laughs> excellent! We have, uh, can I, what happens if I give her nothing? I, I give her all the treats in the world, and like most women, she spurns my gifts. Unbelievable. You know how hard I work for this beef jerky? And you're just going to stand there and refuse this hard-earned beef jerky that's coming out of my power glove? Are you serious? Unbelievable. Churlish and ungrateful. All right, very good. I... I don't know. Okay, well, there you have it. <laughs> I have... This is the type of thing that happens when you're, uh, you know, checking out VR that comes out of Japan. You never know what you're going to get. Never know what you're going to get. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Well, um, so we have an, yet another case of a lady... Um, you know, uh, turning down my meat. Okay! I reloaded! Alright, here we go! <laughs> oh, the jokes. The jokes. Indeed. Okay. So, uh, that was interesting. Uh, Hachukata. Blam! There it is. That is going into the list. Alright. Uh, next, we have on the list uh, Mnemonic. This is from the Double Fine Amnesia Fortnite. It's an internal game jam uh, that happens on the Double Fine crew. They all pitch their stuff directly uh, to uh, Mr. Schaefer, uh, and he decides like the three or four that get to actually project lead and make a game. Um, and one of the project leaders was uh, the guy that actually did Adventure Time, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yes. Uh, so it's pretty cool, but one of them that I know is uh, compatible with the Oculus Rift is uh, Mnemonic, uh, and it's kind of this game that is about a um, a guy that you, uh, he, I, I believe he's lost his memory, and then you have to actually go and try to retrieve his memory um, by playing through the experiences. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that... Uh, how that rolls. I have no idea how, how this will work or how well it will work or um, so on and so forth. So we'll see what happens. Okay. See you. Checkity check. Mnemonic. Let's go ahead and start this up. I've got the non-stream or the non-steam version rather going on. Uh, we'll dull that music down and start the experience. All right, that is awesome. It's capturing right off the desktop. Okay, so we'll just leave it at that, I think. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so these things are made pretty quick. Uh, so they're in uh, in all in all honesty. I mean, it's kind of like uh, you know, game jam, ten days, right, or so. So, um, I can't read the text terribly well, but I'm trying to find out here what we've got. We can, 
uh, middle click or scroll right click and left click to do things. Um, hold to teleport, move. I can replay a memory uh, with the controller. I'm going to play this with the controller here. Uh, and looks like this kind of just sticks to my face, so that's fine. Um, I can equip things with the bumpers. I can focus with the left trigger, interact with the right trigger, move around with the analog stick, and I can hold B to teleport, and I can press X to replay a memory. Okay, uh, so that seems like the extent of the things that you can do in this particular title. Um, this is available via a Humble Bundle. That is correct. I actually uh, got all of the... Uh, the Amnesia Fortnite games, you know, humble humble bundle, you get like everything for like ten bucks or something. So I picked all of them up. What the? Okay, looks like it's. I have to go over there. Going in a door. The door has opened. Oh, that was a weird effect. And I'm now alone on this street. I can press R to interact. I can press L to focus. I have a feeling something's going on when I press the left trigger, but I'm not sure what. And this is a... A dead person? I can focus on this object and press right trigger to pick it up. Uh, new core post straight. Do I have a memory to play? I do not. Okay, excellent. So I press focus and it looks like there's like a vignette that kind of, it's not quite perfect. Uh, let me see, how does that look like on the 2D screen? Okay, I see. So it's like kind of a vignette that's coming up, but it's not perfectly lining, lining up as far as the stereoscopy is concerned. A small heart shape, bleeding away just like her life had. Oh, Jesus. Alright, looks like interacting with that has triggered another part of his memory. Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright, some of the special effects are like not lining up but that's okay like you said it's it's whoa double vision and it cleared maybe that's intentional what's going on one moment it looks like a moth the next a kite flying too low in the dark perhaps a butterfly okay all right so i have this huge door that was to the original street right excellent so i'm i'm all of these doors are representing different memories that I have, evidently. Um, and each time I go through a door, I get more and more information, maybe filling in the clues about what happened. Uh, so far we have some weird newspaper article that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and apparently the murder of a woman is involved. Um, so, excellent. Yeah, Mike Arms, definitely Max Payne vibe. If his uh, voice was a little bit grittier, it definitely would be all Max Payne. Be like, it's like a butterfly. Fleeting. Gone. I think we lost him. I think we lost him. Alright, so... <laughs> let's go over here. Uh, looks like an elevator. Okay. So actually, I kind of dig this. So it's playing around with the stereoscopic effects here. And really, like, messing with your head as you enter these memories. And then everything clears up. I kind of, uh... I kind of like it. That's interesting. What? You want me to say what I see there on the card? Yes. Please, just say what you see. Looks like you spilled motor oil. Just say the first thing that the shape makes you think of. Don't worry about thinking about it too long. Just say what you see. Yeah, I got that. I'm just thinking. Bat? Yeah, bat. Definitely a bat. Thank you. Wasn't that easy? As easy as buying the farm. What do you mean by that? I mean? can't read any of this text. No idea. It's locked. I can press X to play the memory. I just did. In. It's locked. Huh. 
has to be a way in. And looks like that's all of the memory that plays. I can investigate. Hmm. Something about Skyline. Interesting. Can focus on different items. This is a cool, that's a cool mechanic. I like that mechanic actually, being able to focus on different things uh, instead of having things randomly light up. So it's kind of um, allows that, uh, for those of you that saw me play Technolust, um, it has a similar situation where there was, you know, objects that you can pick up and objects that you could not, objects uh, that you were able to interact with and and uh, you really wouldn't wouldn't be able to tell, like nothing would light up or let you know. So um, this is kind of a cool mechanic if it was actually in Technolust um, to kind of have a suspicion, like I think I can interact with that thing and then focus on it be like, ah, it's, it's lit up, I can. Um, and then there we go. So that's not readable. It's it's chicken scratch as far as I can tell. There's you know nothing I could make out there. Um, Something about that shadow ties all of my memories together. What? What? Excellent. So I've triggered another, another memory, and uh. It's locked. There has to be a way in. There has to be a way in. Alright, can I... What's this? Pentagon... On... Oh, this network is... Secret by necessity? Interesting. Political intrigue. Crazy things happening. Able to replay a memory, great mechanic. Able to focus in on items that you're suspicious about that may lead to another clue, good mechanic. Um, hold the B button, you can go back to your kind of home base, teleport different places. I didn't replay the memory here. Looks like there's just not a memory to replay. Okay. Huh. Wider doors. Garage-ish looking. Wait, listen. What's that noise? Now are we a part of the Watchmen? This looks like the freaking uh ship from uh Night Owl. <laughs> okay, darkness all over the place. That's freaking creepy. I think we towed it here. Strange noise. There we go. Something's there. It'd certainly surprise me if I saw these in a dark place. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. Toolbox. Sometimes it helps just to space out and go back to the beginning. Oh, nice hint there. Nothing. Unusual here about anything. Nothing stands out. Except for the lady, of course. Huh. Back to the beginning. Nothing behind me. Okay. Uh, so for those of you just joining, uh, this is actually a title called uh, Mnemonic. Oh, Mnemonic. Ah, looks like I forgot to change the uh, ticker at the bottom there. Uh, but basically, this is a title that is a result of the... Jam, uh, the internal jam called uh, Amnesia Fortnite that goes on within Double Fine, a well-known company just came out Broken Age, uh, Broken Age not too long ago. Um, so this is actually quite good. Uh, this is pretty sweet, it's pretty sweet indeed. Uh huh. Oh, looks like we have some new people on the stream. Welcome, uh, Oliver JT. What's happening? Magic Turtle is here. What's going on? Excellent. Uh, so, I don't know if I should keep going with this. Uh, there's a lot of things to play. Uh, right. Um, but, uh, oh, it's pretty interesting so far. Definitely polished for something that was put together in 10 days. They must have worked their asses off to make this uh, pretty freaking sick. Um, or as good as it is. Uh, but it's, uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, I like the... 
the layout of the game. I like the focus mechanics. Um, but uh, if the text is important, I I can't read anything. So I'm assuming that, I mean, you can pick up those things, but I can't read what's going on there at all. I don't know if full screen you'd be able to read it, but uh, can't read it. Um, so, huh, not sure. But I think I'm going to end it here and uh, move on to a different experience. Uh, but that was very freaking cool. Uh, very nice, very nice in Indeed, very nice. All right, for those of you just joining, welcome to Cymatic Bruce Sunday VR doing Oculus Rift VR experiences here. Uh, we have played through a, a couple of things. We've uh, gone through the VR file browser, which I was unable to figure out, the uh, Hachukata, a random Hatsune Miku zombie feeder, and we just got done with Mnemonic, a Double Fine Amnesia Fortnite game jam. It's an internal Double Fine game jam that they have. Uh, Oculus Rift compatible title. Very cool. Um, and I think you're right, Mike. I think it's uh, something that was probably intended uh, to be used with the DK2 art, like an HD unit or something, because uh, a lot of those things I am unable to check out at all. Excellent. Uh, awesome. So, next up we have the Attack on Titan movement system. Attack on Titan movement system is what's going on now. And we are going to check that out. Let me go ahead and change this. Uh, Attack on Titan movement. Alright. Excellent. So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, <laughs> make this happen. Uh, so this is by Caliber. Uh, I'm not sure if it's even Rift compatible or not, uh, but it is basically kind of a, a test movement system uh, for the uh, Check on Titan possible game maybe that Caliber's thinking of making? Oh, you're right. Yeah, Attack on Titan is a great anime. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, it is pretty cool. Let's actually look. He has a poster on the developer forums, um, and you can use WASD to walk, uh, space to jump, left click is throughout the left grappling hook, uh, right click is throughout the right grappling hook, and if they're already out, you click again to de uh, to uh, retract, and then Alt F4 is to exit. Okay, very straightforward. Enable Rift with F10. Toggle from Ah. Maybe I shouldn't skip over sentences. How about that? That sounds awesome. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and start this experience up. Uh, let me see. Attack on Titan move system. Anyway, anyway, fantastic. We're going to switch over to game capture and start this experience off. Awesome. And F10. I don't think it's going to mess with my stream. Excellent. Good. That's uh, also OBS shortcut, but uh, I'm always kind of wary. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I am looking here. And uh, yeah, this is meant for mouse and keyboard so i can use wasd i can jump with the space my jump is very insignificant and let's spider-man the hell out of this situation so i could left click for left and right click for right i am stuck oh i am still hooked ah okay i get it uh, so I have to actually, when I want to do that, I want to push right, left click again, and then I'm going to be there, and then I can go, da ba, ah, and maybe I can do it without, nice, da 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 da, all right, excellent, um, so what's going on is that you have this kind of, um, shoot retract uh pl by play going on so you shoot one and retract the other so it's like you're going click 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 uh and i wonder if this is like with a controller you can get like more advanced oh ah 
Whoa. Running into the wall is definitely troublesome. I'm trying to prevent that. Oh, man. Oh, I got both of them on this. And I can press both and hook onto this. Boom. Awesome. Uh, da -da 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 awesome. Okay. That is pretty freaking cool. Oh my. Oh, and it dragged me. Good stuff. Nice. Caliber, that is a clever mechanic, and it actually uh, feels pretty good and has a short learning curve. Um, that was pretty freaking awesome. Huh. You can also control the character in the air. Ah, excellent. Yes, Rob, thank you. Um, I think this is actually really very cool with Hydras or like with the stem controller. Um, so it's a more intuitive situation. Like doing the mouse clicks is not intuitive. I'm kind of getting used to it, but I'm having to think about it a lot. Um, like with a controller in, in each hand, kind of like Spider-Man style or, you know, like you can go like this. Um, and then better yet, it would be uh, each controller would be 3D positional track. So the controller would actually be doing the aiming instead of your head. I am not sure if that will work because if you want to go like somewhere both at the same time but they're off in the distance like how do you how do you do that right um but uh yeah and then what do you do to attack that's the other thing right like what do you press to attack so like bumpers to attack and like triggers to like you hold like this this has lots of potential man uh this is very cool um so it's similar to the solution uh, that uh, the guy um, that made the uh, Titan 006, uh, which is no longer in production right now, uh, but uh, it's similar to the solution, but he only had one, and like a chain came out and dragged you to that one location, um, so it was not two. Uh, so this is actually pretty freaking cool. Code of Frost, if you want to put in a link, you have to take out the HTTP, and then you'll be good. Um, excellent. Uh, auto attack when melee in range, that might be a cool idea too. Caliber, this is a cool tech demo, dude. This is a cool proof of concept. I like this. Um, I'm liking the fact that I'm able to look and use like both grappling hooks, and uh, and that felt pretty natural and pretty exhilarating too. Um, yeah, those, those shadows are going kind of nuts right now. Um, but yeah, okay, okay. That was freaking cool, dude. I... I'm digging that. I'm going to do that one more time. It actually is pretty fucking fun. Uh, Right. Nice. Oh, man. All right. That's pretty cool. Awesome. I dig that. I dig that. Definitely. That's a great start, and we'll see where it goes from there. Good stuff, Caliber. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Excellent. Uh, so here we uh, go. For those of you just joining, welcome. I'm Cymatic Bruce. I'm playing virtual reality games and experiences using the Oculus Rift. What you're looking at is a tech demo, a proof of concept by our very own Caliber. Uh, and what it is is a uh, kind of attack on Titan. For those of you that aren't familiar, it's an animation. Uh, it's a Japanese animation that um, they have these giant Titans. They're huge, stories tall. They eat humans, and uh, humans fight back with these swords and like this 3D maneuver gear is what they call it in this in the series um, that has hooks on uh, on the waist on the left and right side and they kind of do this kind of spider-man thing but it's from the hip uh, so they have their swords in their hands and it's freaking sick fun anime to watch very cool and uh, yeah um, cool mechanic all right dude I can dig it all right very nice excellent let's liven it up with a little music here and very a uh, good okay uh that was a uh, pretty cool pretty cool indeed uh we are going to take a quick second right here 
what what is this what is going what is going on here uh to check out minecraft let's see what's going on over there uh so uh there is a minecraft event a uh, minecraft is the mod to get vr into minecraft uh and this event is happening black sun event uh to build the black sun it's a structure from neil stevenson snow crash and we're going to pop in and see exactly how that rolls all right excellent um this is going to be just a quick pop in here i'm not even going to start up mumble uh i'm just going to go ahead and pop in and see what's going on uh uh this music is getting me. Love this song. All right, excellent. So I have my profile. For those of you that are curious, Minecraft is now entirely, entirely easy to start with the Oculus Rift. It's absurd how easy it is, actually. And why doesn't this start full screen? Oh, now it's starting full screen. That is just peachy. All right. Ugh. Ah, this is not what's supposed to happen. Jesus, Jesus Christ. All right, excellent. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this music off here. Here we go, and let's get back into it. So, uh, a sweet soth, a sweet soth. Uh, calibrate your Oculus. Look ahead. Press the space bar. All right. Look all the way to the left. Check. Center. All the way to the right. Check. Center. All the way up. Check. Center. Look straight ahead. Press the space bar. Fantastic. Um, so, uh, Minecraft VR is easy as pie. Uh, the Minecraft is a self-installer. It does everything with, uh, one double click and you're pretty much done. Um, after your have installed in uh, Minecraft, and it's uh, Minecraft version uh, 1.62 uh, that the server is using. Um, it's a metacraft.ch server, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and double click and connect to that server, and here we are. Uh, we are now on the server, people are saying hello, and so I'm going to go ahead and respond in kind. Hey everybody! Checking in from the stream. All right, very good. So it looks like I'm in Mumbleton. There's Sheenan. All right, he's the guy that actually uh, made this server initially. Oh God. Oh, oh God, you you're floating in midair. Yo, he is as a god. Excellent. And uh, this is Mumbleton here. I'm not even sure what I'm actually wearing. Excellent. Reverend Kyle is in here. <laughs> I love how he has the cross. That's beautiful. Um, teleport to the project site from from there. From where? I can hear nothing. I don't have mumble activated, guys. Let's see. I should probably tell them that. No mumble from uh, for the time being. And, uh, excellent. All right, spawn. Fantastic. We're at the spawn point. Mark it. This is spawn. Nothing special yet. Mark it. Ground base. Balcony. Local event. Is uh, that a way? Excellent. Worm Slayer is here. Gunter is here. Reverend Kyle is here. I should probably have mumbled. God damn it. I want to talk to these guys. Excellent. All right. Excellent. There we go. Can I push these buttons? Can I push these buttons? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Maybe I should actually push the actual button. All right. There we go. Nice. Not the sign. All right. <laughs> Robardo, what's happening? People are just marching on top of chests. This is crazy. Excellent. Uh, so what's going on here is a uh, a Minecraft event. 
in which people are eating. Nice. Uh, we have a Minecraft event going on uh, where the uh, object is to build this giant structure out of pure obsidian, which is just just crazy. I'm very excited for this. Excellent. And that is what my character looks like at the current time. Very good. And I have just a whole bunch of stuff here from going to the, uh, or being at the server in various different times here. And, yes, I'll have no idea what I'm looking at, but, uh, there we go. <laughs> and let's see, what's going on, chat? Hey, stream, I see that you have a, uh, I'm t <laughs> ah, yes, very good. Excellent, excellent, fantastic. Excellent. All right. I should probably stop typing random things. Blind type skills, baby, for the win. Uh, let's get out of that. Excellent. Uh, so this is uh, what you're missing, people. If you are uh, a person that has not gone on to uh, the VR Minecraft yet, this actually looks great. It's such a great sense of scale. Uh, what's great about this is that you can see your own body. Uh, you can see everything that's going on. You can see what people are looking at, which is actually quite crazy. Like, I'm here at the Rev, and he's looking over there. And I'm like, what's up, Rev? What? What you want? What you want? What you want? And he's like, I'm like, yeah. What's up? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh, so that's actually cool. So when... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Run for your lives! Ah! 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 All right. So, run for cover. Ah, dodging skills. Um, so this is going on. I don't have mumble, and thus I do not have positional chat. Um, so I am not sure exactly what the plan is for right now. I think people are gathering materials, getting ready to build, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's going down. We have a ridiculous amount of stuff going on there. Um, so this is sweet. Uh, so... We will be back to check out this event in just a little bit, perhaps to get a tour when I'm actually on Mumble, and I can have Shiman actually give me a tour, um, and that will be great. So let me actually type that in, and yes, oh, Rev, upon a mighty steed! Excellent. Excellent. Break everything. Awesome, folks. Just checking in. We'll be back in a few with Mumble <laughs> activated. Alright, uh, so you can see there's already quite a few people here ready to get this party uh, started. Um, God, this is uh, so awesome. This is one of the best multiplayer experiences in VR, I swear. It'll probably sound a lot better once we have Mumble and 3D positional chat. That actually just adds a whole new dimension to this entire experience. Uh, so there we go. Let me go ahead and disconnect and exit. Let me see what are people saying in the chat real quick. Uh, excellent. Look in the fields over there. Where? Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing everything. Hold on. Wait a minute. What? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's humongous. Oh, my God. Things are going down. And sun sets in Minecraft are absolutely beautiful. All right, looks like it's going down. Sweet. What the hell is that freaking noise? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Something's being produced here. Very good. Anyway, very nice. I'm so blind. So, so blind. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Very nice. So, uh, definitely 
check it out. Uh, the server is metacraft.ch. Metacraft.ch. Uh, it is an event that's going on right now, uh, building the uh, Black Sun structure from Snow Crash. It's freaking sick, and you should probably get on and check that out. Um, very very nice we will be back here uh after we get some more progress and to check that out and that'll be very good and also get that mumble going on with the positional chat i think that'll be actually very cool all right let me exit out of here um another nice thing about minecraft is that the menus are totally readable and they're just beautiful um so there we go we can quit the game and victory so excellent uh we are going to move on to our next experience here which is let's see what we got going on uh etchy etchy love girl okay <laughs> don't judge me don't judge me people i'm single no girl come on don't judge me i just have to play this all right here we go etchy etchy love girl oh my god uh so this is for the nordic game jam it's some single player you're it's an infinite runner and you are attempting to not let some people snoop on your embarrassing letter dodge the peeping toms only for oculus rift okay let's let's go i don't i don't even think this is from japan it's nordic game jam right i have no idea what to expect from this so let's go ahead and just do it all right it's a it's a love good stop fantastic 1280 by 800 we're going to game capture mode and we're going to play this ridiculous thing let's do this Ugh, no idea no idea um <laughs> What the hell? Uh, so we had a, a a beautiful girl. The the image is stuck to my face. H H love girl. Oh, nice. <laughs> said it just like I said it. This doesn't even. I don't think there's any distortion whatsoever. What the? This looks weird. This looks very weird. Uh, press space to play. What? What? Game over. What? What? The actual fuck? He says, stop them from snooping, I guess. There's an exclamation mark. So I look toward the exclamation mark? What the fuck? Where? Game over. Ah! Okay. That's why I'm going back to the center every time. Alright, so I guess I keep them from the letter? What? That's bullshit! I guess I'm supposed to keep them from the letter by looking away? What? This is so random! Alright, one more. This is so freaking random. What? Game over. I'm quite done. I'm quite done. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell was that? I just it was, uh, uh, <laughs> Rafael Raut. Rafael Raut. 
and I don't even think that's from Japan. It's a Nordic Game Jam. I don't even think it's a Japanese. Japanese. Uh, that wasn't even from Japan. It's only for Oculus Rift. Who's the dev team? A bunch of random people. There's just random people from all over. Who knows? This, this is. I was so random. <laughs> I'm okay. I don't know what I'm about to say about that. Very nice. You've just witnessed Etchy Etchy Love Jam or whatever Love Girl or whatever it was. And uh, you're trying to run down a hallway to deliver a ridiculous looking letter uh, while hiding it from very creepy, prying, perverted eyes, I suppose. Which is, it's, it's very Japanese in its bizarre, bizarre ish type of way. Yes, I agree, Zarlar. I agree totally. That's okay. This is just a weird stream. This stream is just turning out very strange. Uh, let's do something a little bit different and uh, check out Jerry's place. So let's go ahead and check out what that has going on. So we have Jerry's place. Uh, basically, what this is is a nonprofit just for fun project it was the first project of this particular uh dev g miller uh and it's basically the entire like the house uh from seinfeld uh from the show seinfeld looks like it has a lot of uh references and easter eggs and things from various shows i'm not the super hugest fan of seinfeld um uh, but i did watch the show and enjoy it and uh boom 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 so let's go ahead and um Jump into it. Let's see see what's got going on. Uh, let's do it. Uh, so let's make this happen. Uh, Jerry's place. I'm gonna switch over to game capture here. Uh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Where you at? Jerry, Jerry. All right. We're going to play this. Do you start up the capture, and we are good to go. All right. And uh, yes, new poll. You know what? A, uh, uh, that is right. After this, we have a new poll coming up. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> ah, the fluffy shirt. That's, that's awesome. I have the Pez, the Junior Mints. Okay. Uh, this is the bedroom here. I'm uh, gonna go out here. You have the bike. All the stuff from the, uh, from the show's random <laughs> shower curtain. Um, oh my goodness, this is so crazy. I have like all the movies. <laughs> Betrayed. Doubles chess. <laughs> Uh, channel. Nice. Uh, so basically, uh, we're seeing is just like a, a pretty interesting recreation of the set of Seinfeld. Um, like I said, I'm not the hugest fan of Seinfeld, uh, so there's probably a lot of references that I'm gonna just outright miss, like totally. Um, what's playing on the TV? Nice. <laughs> Looks like there's a slice of episode there. Kramer's meeting a lady. Um, expecting Kramer to come busting through this door. Hey, Jerry! Um, see what's going on. <laughs> Superman all over the place. Nice! This is crazy. I guess I would be getting so much more out of it if I actually watched the show more often. Um, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> All I got, you know, is a standard, like, why would you actually do this? I mean, Elaine, really? Um, there we go. Ah, uh, the Time Magazine from when, uh, the last episode of Seinfeld went off. All right. Uh, this is crazy. It's like a whole apartment, dude. This is nuts. This is great for a first project. Uh, great assets, and, uh, has that standard Unity lighting situation going on, which doesn't look all that great nowadays after red frame and all these other things that look so beautiful um but uh yeah this is actually pretty cool this is uh 
Looks like the start of a burgeoning new genre, uh, which is the uh, uh, the static experience. Like uh, I don't know what well, I don't know what it's going to be called, um, but it's uh, it's kind of more and more of these experiences where you just recreate something and explore it in VR, and it's fascinating, especially for uh, those that are big fans. Like I'm not I'm not able to geek out about this as much because I'm not as huge a fan of this. Um, but uh but yeah this is this is pretty pretty cool um new man <laughs> very good uh so yes this is pretty neat i don't know if uh, any of you seinfeld fans out there can probably point out many more interesting uh things here uh than uh, than i can but there we go um Yes, diorama. Diorama. There we go. I like that. Mark Blanche, espionage. I agree with that. Diorama. I think is a perfect, uh, perfect description for this genre of experiences. Um, yes, you can bake shadows. Uh, that was done with Red Frame and also was done with, to a certain extent, with the uh, Boiler Room from Spirited Away and a few other experiences, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mm -hmm, hmm. All right. Very. Cool. So that is Jerry's Place VR. Very cool. All right. Excellent. Let's uh, keep it moving. We are breezing right through these experiences, checking all this stuff out. So here we go. We just saw Jerry's Place. And now we are going to check out something that looked very cool uh, when I saw the site. And that was Rob the bot rob the bot uh let's see here um so this is a virtual rally excursion by ufo mamut uh so this is just screams design sensibilities right from the get-go uh the screenshots look beautiful and the website is just a joy to look at um it's like oh what oh my goodness this rob the what oh jesus oh this site is beautiful uh there's a leaderboard Evidently, fell in love, tell everyone, uh, imprint, oh god, this website just makes me want to cry and j with joy, Jesus, all right, very good, um, so, Rob V. Bot, we're going to check out Rob the Bot, it looks very awesome, and we're going to find out exactly how this works, we're going to dive right in, oh, my goodness. Uh, so we're just going to start it right up. Where are you, Rob? Where are you, Rob? Show yourself to me. You're here. There he is. Has an actual icon. Look at that production value. Freaking banner. We're not playing around. Let's do this. Let's start this up and make this uh, happen. Before we, before we do that, let me start a new poll. New poll. Let's see here. All right. Uh, we are going to stop this poll. So here we go. So the last poll was regarding the uh, the show that happened yesterday, uh, Riff Max Live, and looked like uh, overall everyone was thrilled with it um, overall, which is great, great news. Um, so that's very cool. Reverend Kyle. Uh, you're coming in second place, dude. Rev, they love you, bro. Excellent. So we're going to stop and end this poll, uh, and we're going to change this up. Um, Sunday VR with Cymatic Bruce. Sundays, 1 p.m. PDT. All right. Question is going to be, what is it going to be? Hmm. What do I have as the question? I need some inspiration, people. I need some inspiration. Let's see. Uh, what should I ask my wonderful people? Oh. Which... Uh, what to fight Japan? What are the answers? What are, it's multiple choice. What are the answers to, to what to fight Japan? Uh, let me see. Uh, which reserve experience 
should Bruce play? Uh, so each dream I have some things that are in reserve, as you can kind of see at the bottom. Uh, and these are the answers here. So I have affected the horror experience. I have estranged. Uh, that is uh, very cool. I have Cairo. I'll put that down there. Cairo. And I have Simpsons VR, another diorama. And I think that's all the ones because I've already actually done this. So that can leave there. And there we go. Bam. And uh, Hawken is just uh, kind of a mess right now, so I'm not even going to fool with it. All right, excellent. And let's start that poll off. Let's go. And uh, as I do not have Half-Life 3, it will not be a part of this pool. <laughs> it will not be a part of this pool. <laughs> I, I have a feeling I know what everyone's going to pick, but we shall come back to that and see. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I've made a grave mistake without question, but uh, I'm a glutton for punishment, so let the votes roll in. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to game mode and start up Rob the Robot. Let's do this. Go play. Awesome. Well, that's, that's looking good already. Mahmoud! Oh, yes! That reflection! This looks beautiful! It's kind of, uh... The cell shaded with the black outline, but it's good! It's like quality black outline. Sometimes that effect is cheap, and here it's not cheap. It's it's great looking. Um, So, A, about... Let's get some about information. So, we have... Hello! This is UFO Mammut! We are a digital agency from Berlin, Germany, and bits and bytes are our passion. As we are hysterically enthusiastic about the Oculus Rift, we cannot resist to create some content for it ourselves. Give us a like, if you like! And looks like they have this just beautiful model here that's a robot that's wearing a Rift. Great reflection. And, uh... Let's go back to the menu. Uh, we have some scores here. I don't want no leaderboards. Let's just play. Let's just go for it. Um, so previous play next. Health, jump, speed. Uh, health, jump, speed. Health, jump, speed. Health, jump, speed. So we have a robot that has lots of armor and health. One that jumps very well. One that has lots of speed. And one that seems to be kind of even. Also, this one's kind of on the even side, more jump than anything else. Robot, 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 robot. I kind of see him in the background. That's pretty cool. Um, I like the way this guy looks. Let's go with you, buddy. Three, two, one, round one. I'm paused. Good. I'm actually going to change the ticker. I keep forgetting to change the freaking ticker at the bottom to actually show what I'm playing so people aren't asking, what the hell is he playing? That's not even right at the bottom. Um, Rob the Robot. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's go back in. Sorry for the delay, folks. Oh, you know, oh, Skype? Skype, you should not be on right now. Actually, let's go ahead and, uh, Let's close, let's close Skype all together. That needs to go. I just quit Skype. That's probably, you know, every little bit counts when it comes to bandwidth. All right, very good. Thought I closed that down already. Let's get back into it. Excellent. This is great. Escape goes to a pause menu. You do not lose head tracking. That is monumental and fantastic. Let's go uh, and continue. Uh, everything's based on WASD, so it makes the blind keyboard action actually feasible. Looks like I use A and D to actually turn my bot. Uh, S to go backwards. Did I just, did I just cheat? Did I cheat that? Okay, this is like a race. Did I just cheat right there? 
Oh, that's a hazard! Oh, the turning radius on this guy leaves much to be uh, desired here. Alright, excellent. Oh, crap! Whoa! Oh, no, don't go off the edge. Alright, so basically, I have kind of like a robotish Mario Kart thing going on. Except I have hazards that I have. Oh, I'm just uh, evidently jumping on them. Um, so I have. Ah, oh, no! So I can jump over certain things. Green is good, red is bad. And I just am unable to dodge these things. I guess the purple are like power-ups. I can't fall off of the map, which is great. I tried to get that thing and that did not work. Oh, this is tough. This robot is tough. Ah, okay, tough to control. I need some better handling here. Alright, very good. I think I might have accidentally hacked that on the beginning by, uh, like, uh, making it, like, do a lap. <laughs> Nice. If I can jump right before I'm on top of it, that actually works pretty good. My jump is not that big. Power up action. Okay, getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of it. Dang it. Got it. Nice. Oh, look at this. Feeling pretty good about this whole situation. Let's go. Oh, no. Robot, please. Ah, I just want to dodge that. A uh, smaller robot might have been able to do that. Run. I don't even know if you're Rob. Oh, goodness. Can't quite see what's coming up there. That was kind of scary. All right. Uh, so, kind of engaged with the racing and not saying a whole lot right now. Um, but uh, as you can see, uh, this is very nice looking graphically. Um, the control, all things said, is pretty tight. I I'm just pretty pants at it. Um, wow. So that was that was bad. I don't even know if I even compared. Let's see, rank name, yeah, I don't think I was... I got 5,000 something, right? But I, I don't even know if I came close. Alright, awesome. So that's Rob the Robot. The environment is beautiful. It's very comfortable to play, actually. This is a third-person camera behind the, uh, the cart. Like, it's kind of a racer. You're behind what's going on. The camera stays very comfortable, uh, so that is not a problem there at all. Um, the control was a little bit wonky. I would uh, like to have some analog control. I think it was tough using WASD uh, to make that happen. Um, but uh, yeah, that was actually uh, pretty fun. I like that there's hazards in the way as well as like things you can pick up and things that give you boosts. And I'm assuming that uh, maybe robots would be able to like uh, battle other robots. Maybe um, I'm not sure, but that looks pretty neat. Uh, definitely, Rob, it definitely reminded me of Wipeout, dude. Definitely, uh, reminded me of Wipeout. Um, Sledge Rift with robots. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this, in the, in the dev kit, uh, the cell shading looks amazing. Like, having those, like, really, like, you know, I don't know, just uh, having this kind of style when it's not photorealistic, it's like, you know, very cartoony, cell shaded, it looks brilliant. In the dev kit looks very good um and uh yes i liked it uh yeah i was thinking i might have been error i i think my that was my score and i think i was error <laughs> so i just held i was still holding down uh w when it uh when it went to ending the uh the action so i have no idea <laughs> very nice uh let's see what we've got going on in the chat one Dear fear. Um, so I evidently skipped a lap 
on accident, and I'm not sure what that was about, but that was a beautiful experience. That was actually quite cool. Uh, so, very nice. Uh, this is definitely the work of some experienced designers. Like, the whole experience from beginning to end is very polished. Uh, it looks very good. Uh, it plays pretty tight. Um, but, uh, yeah, some other gameplay mechanics that I think would be cool. It'd be great to have some, some analog control. I, I think that would be great. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know me. I break things. That's what I do best. Uh, so there we go. Um, oh man, escape does not exit here. So I guess I'm just going to alt F for it. And then there we go. Okay. That was Rob the bot, uh, Rob the bot. Very sweet. So we are going to move on to our next experience here uh which is techno babylon i'm actually very excited to check this out as well so let me go ahead and uh, change the ticker here we go techno babylon excellent and there we go and let's take a look at the site and get some information about techno a babylon um, so, Oculus developer forms, I can't talk today, sorry everyone. Alright, Techno Babylon VR, it's an alpha, I mean they announced this some time ago, but now it looks like they have an alpha out. WASD controls, spacebar toggles an inventory window, um, and left click to activate gaze detection. Uh, so looks like you'll have more options as it goes along. Cyberpunk Adventure, exclusively for the Oculus Rift. In the near future, a woman has a worse night apartment she's bumped out of. Uh, there's some kind of crazy scheme that's happening. Uh, alright, so... It's, uh, actually based on the original Techno Babylon game series by James Dearden. Uh, so, yes... Uh, looks pretty cool, very interesting, so, let's see what's going on. What's happening? I'm looking in the chat and someone's not seeing video? Refresh the page for me please and see if that's going to happen, if that's happening somewhere? Uh huh. alright, sweet. So, let's go ahead and start up Techno Babylon. All right, 1280 by 800, fantastic. Again, we're gonna get out of our music here and we're going to start up this experience. For those of you just joining, welcome. This is Cymatic Bruce. I play virtual reality experiences using the Oculus Rift. We have blazed through a ridiculous amount of experiences, some very fun, some very strange, some very thoughtful. We are now about to play something called Techno Babylon. I'm gonna switch over to game capture. I'm going to start the experience. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and capture. And looks like it's already moving. It doesn't waste any time. So let's dive right into the void. Um, looks like it's moving us along sideways. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's slow. I don't feel too bad, but I would not recommend that for someone that does not have VR legs yet. We are zooming through this environment. I am... This is an awesome way to start the credits. Although this is kind of a weird feeling here, um, just floating. This is something that would work great in 2D, but in 3D it actually feels kind of weird. I'm gonna bust out my ginger ale here, and uh, hopefully it doesn't overflow. Um, this is a cool way of doing the credits though. I gotta commend them for trying this, but I think the, com the camera's moving a little too fast. Mm. The Prisoner. So moving sideways. Uh, again, it's not feeling too bad, but I can feel it's going to build up after a while. Um, some people might have a real issue. Um, so, big points for creativity, but... Uh, oh, here we go. We finally found her. Yes, in the sub towers. Wasn't easy. What voice do I give this guy? The mission will succeed if we act swiftly. I hope you're right. You doubt the path ahead. This all makes me uneasy. She is nothing but a disruption. 
you have your orders. She'll still be an obstacle. Uh, no longer, huh? Uh-oh. We are now once again floating. Cameras zipping all over the place around this woman. Um, again, I appreciate the willingness to experiment, but this is something that probably is not recommended for those that do not have VR legs. Uh, it's probably going to have, uh, have a rough time of it. Um, it looks like we have our protagonist. Oculus Rift active. There's nothing like being in VR. An entirely new world. A world of abstraction. Shaped solely by pure intellect. Yes. And not just by my will alone. But by the will of the millions of others whom I join within the metaverse. The Great Equalizer. Some say you can become over-dependent on it. To them, I say, join the future, or be surpassed by it. I'm zooming in. Uh. But even as far as the technology has evolved, there's still one massive problem. This angle is it's nuts! It on the real world, as its backbone. Until then, trance will always have its complications. Oh, oh, Techno Babylon, Techno Babylon. No panic. I'll just yeah. have to go out there and sort it out. I'll mm. only be a short moment. Yeah, she's only it's gonna be like a there short is anything moment. To be afraid of out there. Nothing to right. be afraid of. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go, baby. Techno Babylon. This is smooth. Oh, and now we have got through the intro. Uh, there's some... Oh, no, that's not a problem with this, but... The, oh, this is just... That is freaking cool. All right. So what we have is... Uh, an interesting, we have this inventory list. Um, oh, it looks like I can't do anything with the controller. WASD is the way to go. Uh, looks like it doesn't go away. It just stays out of my way. And I can look down on it, and it looks like I have, like, um, like they have cubes. And I am not sure. Ah, I can press space to get rid of it. And I probably, once I have some actual inventory, I'll probably look and click is what I'm assuming. Excellent. So I have a cool little apartment. Do I have a body? I do have a body. It responds to me looking around. Okay, that is fantastic. Let's keep it going here. So, for those of you just joining, I'm playing Techno Babylon. I have a shadow. A responsive shadow! Oh, I do not see enough of this! Devs, hear me! I love having a shadow where you actually move your head. If you're able to see that, like, I have that response. That is just... It's hard to describe how, how something so seemingly insignificant provides so much immersion. Do that level of feedback... Getting that feedback to know that, yes, my, my shadow is actually moving with me is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Alright, uh, so I'm looking here. What a shiny floor I have. I'm looking around. Looks like I have a restroom. Oh, that is awesome. I love that it does that. That's so cool. Looks like I have a contextual clue that pops up when I'm next to an item that actually I can interact with. I look to the magnifying glass and it pops up with a description. Gel. The slippery gel that the city provides. It is supposed to make you clean and civilized. Very good. Excellent. I love it. That's great. Uh, I've got a sink. I can look at this. I'm not sure if it's ever at the center of my vision. Again, a challenge of wearing the sea lenses. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay, I can get more information. The shower. The shower hose supplies all of the water from this apartment. And shower. If you're looking to take this with you, years of training have left you too weak to detach it. What do you mean? I don't need a shower. Okay. I'm looking at the sink, but I'm not able to activate the information that tells me about the sink. Um, let's see here. 
this looks like an Oculus Rift logo. Is it possibly an interface for my virtual world? Not sure. Okay, there we go. So again, this is not, when it's highlighted, it's not at the center of my vision. It's like off to the right a little bit and up and it disappears rather easily. Um, so there we go. Uh, plastic tray, your plastic food tray from, um, well, whenever it was. Yellow brown mash still on it appears to have, res <laughs> have residents of its own. Fantastic, so not only am I very anti-shower, but I'm also evidently an absolute slob. And that's fine. Um, so definitely having trouble selecting the information. Oh, there we go. It's like I have to get closer. When it comes to food landing on the floor, you have a five-day rule. Well, that is absolutely and positively disgusting. Um, I'm what? not hungry at the moment. Let's save it for later. Yeah, yeah, let's... <clears throat> let's do that. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. Put me in the... In the, the eyes, the mind of a slob. Being John Slobovich. What do you got? What do you got? What can you give me? There we go. This terminal acts as your apartment's uplink connection and the control for the doors. It seems you might be broken at the moment. Maybe if you can just get inside it. The door is supposed to open. You should have understood the context of you standing by the terminal. Door. Open. Unbelievable. Alright then. I see how it is. Contact the building manager. Alright, contact the building manager. What's going on? How did it lose the connection? I'm trapped inside this horrible apartment. Door. Open. Door is not opening. Evidently. I'm trapped inside. Evidently. Uh, can I... Can I, there's nothing I could do here. Nothing I could do here. No items of import here. I still have nothing in my inventory. Nothing's popping up from where I'm looking. Nothing's happening here. I have a tray. There's some glasses on the table, but uh, so far I'm not able to do anything with them. Is this a thermostat or just something that's on the wall? Something that's on the wall. Fantastic. And I have what appears to be tools, but I am not sure. And I am simply trapped in this room. Uh, and that looks... I mean, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I like the, uh, the aesthetic they have going on here. It's a little different from other games I've seen. Um, some parts of it kind of look UDK-ish, actually. Uh, looks like I can no longer interface with the door. And I believe that might be it. Uh, so that is rather fascinating. This is Techno Babylon. It is a uh, early alpha, um, and it is pretty interesting um, as far as uh, this goes. So it's kind of, uh, I guess, a cyberpunk adventure game based on a series of games that came out um, long ago. Um, and it looks like we're stuck. I'm not sure what items to get, so I think I'm going to call it right here. Um, but this is actually has a cool aesthetic. Uh, it's kind of nice that we have two experiences like this. We have this plus Techno Lust, um, and Techno Lust is also quite good. So we have Techno Babylon and Techno Lust, and it looks like they're both going to shape up to be pretty interesting virtual reality, real time adventures, um, which I am very excited for so i'll be keeping an eye on this title and seeing what happens very cool aesthetic um i like the creativity that was shown in the intro although i would recommend against the floating camera thing i think it was a little too much a little too aggressive um and it's going to make some vr players uncomfortable for sure uh i don't think it got to my limits um but it definitely um would uh i think it would definitely borrow a, a, or bother a lot of players out there as far as the moving to the side and going at a pretty good clip and going and swooping stopping having these points of view when you're over the top of the lady i think that's kind of uh, extreme but um very good uh i can 
dig it. All right, Techno Babylon, fantastic. Looking good, feeling interesting. I look forward to seeing most of it, uh, or more of it, rather, and seeing how that looks. Okay, excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. So that was just Techno Babylon. So, wonderful. Next up is the Swedish VR Museum. Let's go ahead and check that out. Start some music back up here. And check this out. So, we have the Swedish VR Museum. Uh, this is by Stefan Eiserman. Uh, he did uh, previously the Art Gallery OVR UbiCam. Uh, some of you may have seen that uh, played on the stream, so he has an update to that, uh, which is a Swedish VR museum, uh, which is pretty interesting. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. It's kind of a... Uh, a uh, A museum it's a museum in virtual space and it looks beautiful so let's uh let's go ahead and start it up I think I've said enough <laughs> all right Swedish VR museum check excellent viewing your old pictures in the gallery copy at least nine pictures in the app folder oh so you can copy your own pictures in that is actually pretty Cool. In the interest of time, I'm just going to blow right through and just keep going, but that's actually pretty sick. All right. You know what? Maybe I should put my own pictures in. Let's... I wonder if it does gifts or... All right, let's see. It is under S for Swedish. Or is it? No, it's the Swedish. It's like abbreviated all kinds of crazy ways. Oh, okay, so there's pictures already that you have to rename. All right, so this is what it looks like. In the folder, um, you have a folder uh, that has these default images in it. So it says replace one, replace two, replace three, four, five, yada, yada, yada so on and so forth. Um, and so you can see kind of the images that are here. Uh, that uh, These are evidently the images that will be on the walls in the museum. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Let's start it off. Nice. All right. And let's play. And let's capture. Oh, I like the ambient noise. That's a really cool touch. Okay. Uh, so we have quite a few improvements. First of all, the floor looks much better than in the original version. Um, we have a logo that stays in front of our faces, but a little bit out of the way, and it's mostly transparent, so that's good. Uh, we have the UbiCam from the last demo, the model from the last, uh, kind of gallery that he had there. Uh, looks like we have some awesome window action we can see outside. That's nice. We can see into perhaps another room. Uh, here's some art. It looks like it's rather shiny. Uh, cool, nevertheless. I like the walk speed is slow. I also like the foot the footsteps there. It's pretty cool. Uh, looks like he has some in-game cams that are uh, feeding out to different uh, screens uh, throughout the game space, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have this really interesting room with this creepy statue. Uh, the sense of 3D is very good. Um, that seems like it's just coming right out at me, like I could just grab it right there. It's so, so crazy. Uh, all right, very good. We have a couple of menacing looking doors that I can do nothing about. And another door over here saying some warnings. And looks like I have an arcade cabinet. Looks just as nice as last time. And that camera is centered around the UbiCam, or uh, the UbiCam robot. All right. This is looking even better uh, than the first. The aesthetic here is beautiful. This looks fantastic. Uh, the way the art is mounted looks really good. It kind of pops out from the wall and kind of uh, 
you know, it's like a, definitely a, a 3D shape that's mounted on um, as a real canvas would be. Um, the windows and the lighting look very nice. Uh, the model itself just looks fantastic. Um, this model and the other model in the other room uh, look wonderful. Um, you can put your own images in here and, and uh, maybe you have your own virtual art gallery. Uh, that would be pretty neat. Um, I think this is one of the things I might take on the road when we go out and uh, do SVVR stuff and have a booth. Um, this is the kind of thing that definitely is uh, kind of uh, hits all demographics. Everyone's going to be kind of wowed once they see what's going on here. This is really neat. All right, so a quick demo, but nevertheless pretty impressive. Um, so once again, I forgot to update the ticker, and this experience is called the Swedish VR Museum. All right, excellent. Always forget to update that ticker. I need something that the system that's going to do that easier for me someday. Um, but yeah, that logo is in an interesting place. Uh, it kind of stays with you. Uh, maybe it's because you don't really have a frame of reference. Um, but looks like you walk wherever you look. So if I look this way, I walk this way. I look this way, I walk this way. Um, so, I don't know, having something there to, as a frame of reference is pretty cool. Maybe this, instead of a body, it just has a logo there to serve as a frame of reference. Maybe that's the intention. Uh, but, um, but yeah, maybe that's just a placeholder for another plan at some point. Uh, not really sure, but uh, very cool. Um, very neat. Um, <laughs> watch Bruce's porn collection. I think not, sir. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, I am definitely appreciative of this, and I think I will be using it in the future uh, to show off some uh, some things to uh, to folks. This is this is pretty this is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. All right, I like that. Excellent. Uh, so we have just 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 burn through these demos. It's just out of control. Uh, alrighty then. Um, so before we move on, we're going to pop into, actually, you know what? I'm just going to do these two demos, and then we're going to pop into uh, Black Sun for just a little bit and, uh, and check that out. So here we go. Um, Boredom VR is next on the list. It's the next one up. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Uh, boredom VR. It's the VR experience that you get when you're bored out of your mind. It's bored VR. Yeah. All right, here we go. Boredom <laughs> is this title, a short immersive experience created for ChainJam.com, five-person student group. Players in an empty plane world can choose to pass the one minute playing time, taking drugs to enhance the experience or to keep away from them. Once the player decides to take drugs, the vision gets more blurry with every drug, and the player begins to see things that might or might not be real. For my own enjoyment, I created an Oculus Rift version later on. Let's load it up. Oh my god. That just that just sounds dangerous and amazing. <laughs> Let's do this. This is happening right now. Are you serious? Welcome to the high simulator. All right, you know what? I'm going to escape this cuz I'll only have 1 minute playing time. I need to escape and I need to change the ticker. Boredom VR Excellent. Check. I am very scared about what's about to happen, but I'm just going to go ahead and tackle it anyway, brah. Let's do this. Okay, let's dive right in. Screw it. Life starts here. To have fun. Drugs. I'm just going through the table. I'm pressing buttons, nothing's happening. Space? No. Right click, left click, E. 
I'm not able to take any drugs right now. Control, space, space does nothing. Use me. It says use me. But I'm not getting uh, any feedback here. Huh. Let's go back and uh, check out the page and see, did I miss something in the controls? I thought it was uh, E, but maybe I'm, or space, but I guess I am mistaken. Here, game link here. It says nothing more. X? Ah! I pressed all the buttons except X. Thank you, everyone, for, um... Read the floor! Ah! It was saying press X! I thought it was like, you know, like... <laughs> brackets, X, fill in the blank. Like, blank is fun. I totally... Whoosh! Whoosh! Okay, let's try this again! I was totally... I totally misunderstood that entire concept. Utterly. And uh, this is why the stream is so fun to watch, because you get to see one man as he attempts to do these experience and be an idiot. So I was thinking, like, X is like, you know, the thing that you do to have fun, not that it's the, the button you press. Jesus Christ. Things are moving around. This is some bullshit. The entire place is breathing, dude. Life beyond? What? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> really gonna make puke sounds? That's some bullshit, bro. Oh, oh, fuck me! <laughs> it's purposely crossing your eyes, dude. That is just that's wrong. That is wrong. I'm closing one eye. I'm closing one eye. Where's the? Where's it? Oh Jesus! There's a spider just outside my vision! Oh God! Jesus Christ! Jesus! Jesus Christ! Ah! Oh God! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh that's all bad! Oh keep going! Okay fine let's go! Screw it! Where are we going? Screw you spider! I don't give a crap about you. There's a door. Where's there's a door here? There's a door. Jesus. Let's go. What? Wow, oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my god! Keep going! Don't stop! Let us not discuss of this again. This is, uh, I don't think we should, uh, we should go any further. I think we stop here. <laughs> Drugs are not for children, and, uh, they're, uh, not for most adults. And, uh, we should probably not experiment with them, even in virtual space. Uh, now that I've gone on my bad trip of the century, <laughs> let's move on.
<laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. That was ridiculous. Random spider rotating room intentional loss of stereoscopy double interiors intentional double vision that was straight up torture dude there's no other that's straight it's straight up tor that's straight up torture bro there's no other explanation there's nothing else you can ooh ah oh that's that's enough of that wow wow oh man Time to bust out the ginger ale. All right, I'm gonna take this time to to what? Why? I don't even. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. All right. Oh Jesus. This has been quite the stream. The stream has been absolutely ridiculous. So we go from some experience that are actually, you know, pretty cool to some that are actually just absolute nuts to the weird. And then we have a um an induced drug trip, the bad kind, the very bad kind. And I never want to experience that again. Great job. Excellent work. I'll never play it again. <laughs> Excellent. For those of you just joining, welcome. This is a Cymatic Bruce virtual reality show. I play virtual reality experiences using the Oculus Rift. And these experiences are sometimes a little nuts. They're a little experimental. And sometimes they screw with my brain in very horrible ways. And we're going to continue with the next b demo called Brevis. Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, Jesus. Um, Brevis. So it's a work in progress. A short story, single player game, sci-fi, space travel, first person, walking around, getting into a spacecraft and making explodies. Sounds right up my alley. Definitely what I need after that craziness uh, in boredom VR. Oh, God. I should not have done that. Should not have done that. All right. Excellent. Let's uh, let's check out Brevis. So let's uh, start it up. Crazy resolution, 1600 by 900, level 9000. What the hell? Fine. This stream is just getting weirder and weirder. Let's just keep going. Let's just go. Let's just uh, hit it up. Oh Jesus. All right. Here we go. I don't even know what's going on next. Game capture. All right. Um, game capture. Check. Start of the demo. Check. Capture on. Check. We are now inside of Brevis. Uh, let me actually change the ticker to Brevis. Control save. Let's get back in our experience here, and let's keep it rolling. <laughs> so I'm at 1920 by 1080 inside of the dev kit. Uh, it's a weird resolution uh, that it had there, but let's look. Oh, Bruce has got some knockers. Watch out. Here we go. So I'm evidently a lady player. I have my hands just outstretched like this. I am unable to use the controller, so I'm assuming that WASD is what's going on. I am barefoot, and looks like I have a slight animation of my hands uh, with the motion, which is cool. That'll work. Um, I have a few people around. Oh, it looks like something might have popped up there. Oh, I get close to it. Looks like they have a contextual pop-up. Um, Torque frag works, sturgeon. Press F to build. Uh, I can go up. I have a, a guy who looks like he's a bit taller than I am. Uh, the frame rate looks like it's suffering a little bit. Doesn't look all that great, but let's see what we have here. An alien lady, or she just looks taller than I am too. She's blonde, Amazon style. 
She's looking out at whatever's going on out there. Uh, looks like we have a hangar bay, some ships. Uh, the lighting is kind of crazy, but looks like there's a couple of people out there. Um, we have yet another security guard. Looks like the mouse actually controls the direction I walk. You are a big boy! I'm gonna name you Mr. Stevens. Hey, Mr. Stevens. Hey, how you doing, Francis? Nice day to be building spaceships, isn't it? It certainly is, Mr. Stevens. Thank you for the conversation. All right, so um, don't mind. Uh, after that drug trip, I'm sorry. I'm drifting a little bit, guys. I'm <laughs> I'm feeling some after effects here. Uh, I can look out. I'm seeing a beautiful vista, uh, and it is in 3D, which is nice. It doesn't look flat. Uh, looks like it's an actual vista. This lighting effect here with this blue is actually quite interesting. Uh, it's like kind of a light that's within the the window pane or something, which is kind of kind of uh, cool to look at. So I have a laptop. Strafe is very slow. Walk speed is also very slow, which I appreciate both of those things. I have a laptop here, and I have a contextual pop-up. I can press F to build. Looks like it builds that ship outside. So then I'm going to go ahead and make my way outside. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I can press Shift to walk a little faster. Hey, Jim. What's happening? Just uh, checking out the ships. I can go up these stairs. I can board the ship. All right, excellent. Oh, another contextual pop-up. Torque Fragwort Sturgeon. Press F to pilot. Excellent. I pilot. It sits me in the seat and turns me around. Oh, shots fired. Better than Star Citizen? Oh. Um, <laughs> Star Citizen is quite uh, quite rough with the handling of this. Okay. Uh, so I just got on foot inside of a spaceship. I'm going to handle this puppy barefoot. Uh, it's like Gunbuster, dude. Screw it. Screw the world. Let's do this. Um, WASD once again controls the uh, the ship here. Uh, looks like I moved my mouse. I'm seeing the stick move in addition to my ship uh, doing something there. I can strafe. I have no idea if I can um, roll, uh, but I'm going to try to do so. Okay, looks like it's a combination of factors. So I press left and the mouse to the mouse actually just strafes me in the ship, which is that's some unique controls there. Oh, don't do that! Oh! Don't empty me into space! No! Oh, we're dead. We're dead, bro. Close that thing. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. And, um... I have no idea what happened to the mothership, but now I'm in control of the ship. Uh, so it's uh, ported the kind of walking controls to the spaceship. Uh, which is something that is quite interesting. I press roll up on my mouse. I can uh, I can pitch up and uh, down on my mouse to pitch down. I oh Jesus, that was loud enough. I can press the left click for missiles. I assume I don't know if I can lock in on anything. Right click actually fires some uh, some lasers, which are quite loud. Okay, looks like I can track something down. There's no indicator of whether I've actually... I hear the sound, but I have no idea if I've actually... If I've actually connected with anything. Is that something locking onto me, or is that me locking onto someone else? I have no idea. Um, so, positives. This is awesome. I started on foot. I was in a, in a mothership. I totally uh, was, like, interacting with the console, checking out people. I went from there. I got inside a spaceship. It was a smooth transition getting into the cockpit, and I'm now in outer space, and it was all a seamless experience. It was all one 
seamless transition, which was kind of nice. There's the window I looked out of earlier, and that is freaking awesome that I can actually go and see the window I looked out of while I was on foot. Um, the spaceship control is basically the same. I can strafe in the spaceship, um, so that is a little troublesome. I've somehow rolled my ship, and I'm not sure how to undo that, um, and so that's a little bit troublesome. I have no idea how to get back in the ship either, um, and I am just all over the place now. Uh, so, yes, this is very interesting experience for like a pre-alpha tech demo. This is actually quite good. Um, it has a lot of factors in place. Um, the guns are ridiculously loud, and the spaceship controls are wonky, uh, but that is actually pretty interesting. I like the fact the seamless transition between me being on foot and getting in the ship is actually pretty freaking sick. Um, so I am all about that, uh, and going for it, once again, earning my reputation as Cymatic Breaker, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, break the demo. Um, while the inside of the game um, looks good, uh, the outside is actually quite beautiful. It actually has some great lighting that's going on outside, and um, some it just looks looks very nice. So I think it's just a matter of changing the controls for when you're in the spaceship to be something a little more manageable, a little more uh, something that makes a little more sense for being in the spaceship, and I think that could be very, very fun. Uh, and uh, nice. And the frame rate seems pretty low as well, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but yes, this is very cool. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. That was a pretty cool experience. Brevis, definitely going to keep my eye on that one. Uh, let me see. Escape does nothing, so let's Alt F4, the universal exit key, and let's uh, keep it going. All right, excellent. Welcome, everyone, to the crazy, crazy time. All right. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to look back to the poll. I'm going to play the experience that everyone chose. And then we're going to go into the Black Sun Minecraft event. Um, hey, the Muncha is in the house. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Let's go ahead and check out. Drum roll, please. Drum. Ah, as expected, everyone wants me to play Affected. Uh, so, it's a VR horror experience. It's supposed to be comparable to a haunted house. Um, Muncha, it was going good until a few seconds ago when I found out I have to play freaking Affected. Um, so I'm going to start my music up here once again. And let's go ahead and uh, play some Affected. Simpsons VR is in second place. I might have to... Uh, Push that to the side. Affected has multiple episodes? All right. Let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, it has chapters, right? It has chapters 1, 2, and 3 or something? All right, so let me go ahead and stop this poll. End it. Uh, let me see. Which chapter of... Affected should Bruce play? Chapter one, Chapter two, Chapter three. I think there's three. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Now let's go ahead and uh, start the poll. Poll has begun. Let's begin. <laughs> let's go. So, Affected version 1.2. Uh, newly minted. Let's go to Game Capture. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, stop the music here. I, I can't remember if this starts right up or has like a preloader. It has a preloader. Affected virtual reality experiment. Fallen planet. Uh, let's actually, before we start right up, let's go and check out the website as well. That's a really, uh, pretty cool website there. Affected in the reserve. So Fallen Planet, beautiful website. Who are we? Fallen Planet Studios. Um, Affected, go down. Not your average horror game that has been created specifically for use with the Oculus Rift. Have what it takes to survive. Affected, the ultimate horror, horror, horror walkthrough. 
uh, offers a level of immersion for gamers, heightened feelings of tension, more importantly, unprecedented levels of fear. The Oculus Rift has un <laughs> ushered in a new paradigm in gaming. As a result, the new paradigm in which the experience ultimate scare factors, no puzzle to solve, no coins to collect, just three nightmares for you to stumble through. Can you make it to the end in one piece? Jesus, that sounds that just sounds horrible. That just sounds very dangerous. All right, let's go. Affected. Experience. All right, excellent. The ticker is changed. The game is ready to load up. Game capture mode it is. Uh, fantastic. And 1280 by 800. This is what we're choosing here. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, and start this experience. I have no idea what to expect. But let's go. Oh, you're kidding? I'm not capturing. No, 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 no. I was not I was not capturing anything. That is that is no good. All right, hold on. Oh, let's see here. Uh, let me start up again. I have started OBS in uh, administrator mode, so it definitely should see this. Let's go in desktop. Let's just stay in desktop mode and see what happens. Um, and maybe I'll just have to make it windowed. Affected. Uh, windowed. Fantastic. Play. Excellent. We're able to, to see it here. All right, there it is. Jesus Christ. You've got to be kidding me. Wall. Freaking floating. The horror experience. It's floating furniture, dude. Select a floor. So it's not chapters. It's like the manor, the asylum, the carnival. Credits. Important. Please wear headphones to get the most out of this experience. Epilepsy warning. Flashing lights are used throughout this experiment. Call the lift. No, 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 no. Don't call the lift. Jesus. Select a floor, then call the lift using the switch to your right. Uh, press start or P to pause once you have entered. Um, so I have full experience, manor, asylum, carnival. Uh, so what are people saying... Uh, what we're what we're doing here what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing oh geez the sound effects are already just horrible dude the terror lift the manor i have vaults so chapter one is the manor chapter two is the asylum chapter three is the carnival so far the most votes are for chapter one the man uh, the manor all right here we go P to pause. Yeah, P on yourself to pause. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Horror. 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 Ah, oh, Jesus. Why do I do this to myself? It's only because I love you. You understand this, right? It's only because I love you as a community. All you devs and enthusiasts out there. It's really just because of the peer pressure that I even do this crap at all. Uh, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for the wonderful things and support that you give me, I would not be anywhere near these experiences because they freak me the hell out. And horror in VR is a totally different thing. So, so far, looks like the... Uh, <laughs> Lurch, you called it! I am stalling! I'm sorry, man! Uh, Oliver JT, merci beaucoup! Uh, j'adore, j'adore vous aussi! Ah, uh, man. Um, okay. Or je, je vous adore? Je vous adore? Ah, man, horrible. Chapter 1 it is. We're going to do the manor. Here we go. Jesus. Okay. Looks like it's kind of a thing where you just look at it long enough, and it happens. Call the lifts. And I'm just looking at things. So, ah, uh, god damn it. Am I, can I, can I go? Is it like WASD? Do I have any control?
I don't. I'm just being sucked into the fucking lift. Are you serious? I'm spinning? It's slowly spinning me. Oh, that is some bull. Warning, do not enter the lightly. Do not play alone. If you feel unwell, remove the headset immediately. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, dude! Stream is going. Excellent. For those of you that might have just tuned in, welcome. This is the Cymatic Bruce Virtual Reality Show. I'm currently experiencing something called the manor within affected uh this is a virtual reality kind of haunted house experience it is now completely dark is it just gonna move me or do i actually have to move oh jesus i have to actually do this myself 